Welcome back to The Hub, folks, where we show you the most interesting and funny and wild videos floating around the internet. Stay tuned to see Google's latest initiative at controlling the weather, or something like that. Three, two, one, go! Drones aren't only used for capturing like super sexy and gorgeous aerial footage. No, they use drones for racing now. As you can see here, a $100,000 prize was given to the winner of this drone race in Dubai. And while those drones may be fast, how about a drone that's huge? Let's see how this big thing flies. You know what? Actually, I realize that a drone size actually kind of makes it slower and more boring unless it's big enough to carry a person. This is a Kitty Hawk drone. It's basically a hovercraft. And even though that Kitty Hawk drone is cool, it's only good for flying over water or super secluded areas. How about something we can use in our real lives? Well, take a look at FAM Properties Flying Car. It's not done yet, it's still in research and development, but it's a way to transport one person around easily and quickly. I was blown away by how impressive the flying of this micro drone is. It's a tiny, tiny little drone, but look at the precision required to fly it as efficiently and effectively as this pilot does. Amazon has been pouring money into their drone development. They're trying to figure out a way to transport you goods that you order basically on demand. So you order something, then they put it on the drone, and the drone flies over to your house, lands in your yard or something like that, and you get the package immediately. It's not quite there yet, but do you guys think we'll see this in our lifetimes? I laughed so hard when I figured out what was going on here. So the team at Google in the Netherlands puts out an April Fool's prank video every year. This year, they pretended that they were creating Google Wind, which was going to control the weather. Last year, they also came out with this. It is the self-driving bike. Obviously, Google does a lot of work with self-driving cars, but the pitch here is the self-driving bike doesn't even need a person to ride. Want to give a big shout out to Terry and Tammy Lee who left us a comment letting us know that they loved the mirror houses from our last video. If you want to see more about what they're talking about, go check out a previous video of ours. Also, leave us a comment below letting us know which entry in today's video was your favorite. If you do, I'll give you a shout out in our next video. Give us a like, give us a subscribe. If you see us walking down the street, say hello. Don't be a stranger. And we hope to see you again very, very soon right back here on The Hub.